Another tool that we have is obviously the design try on hand. So we mentioned this one a little bit earlier. You can change the finger size. Um, it's going to update the hand based on the finger size that you have put in for the ring. And you can change the skin tone, nail polish color, kind of more for the customer. And now if you take your ring, and right now I'm in top down view, so I can't change the orientation. So I'm just going to left click on perspective. And now I can kind of rotate this ring around on the hand. Again, my idea has always been to kind of scale the hand on the screen down until it's approximately the size of the customer's hand. So kind of have your customer hold their hand up to the screen over here, kind of on the left side, and have the hand here. And that gives them an approximation of how large the design is, how large the ring is, in comparison to the rest of their hand. This is also really helpful when you start getting into the really small details because it's easy when the customer is working on the ring and it's this large to get really concerned that these mill grain beads are just going to be too large. But when they see it more in perspective, it's easier to understand the impact that the size of the mill grain has on the overall look of the design. So those tools, your grid, your measuring tool, and your design try on hand are all great ways for you to help again to convey exactly what the finished size of your customer's ring is going to be.